Last spring and summer, there was a lot of rain. Some areas in the metro were literally drowning in flood water. We actually had more rain in the first six months of 2023 than Seattle, a city known for its rain. And then this year, oh, wow, well, we're experiencing one of the driest summers in years, also one of the hottest. So Chris Bianchi now telling us they are very strong climate change indicators. Well, over the last week, we've had two notable instances in how climate change is affecting our day-to-day -day weather here in the Denver area and across eastern Colorado. For starters, of course, you go back to last weekend. We got to 102 degrees last Friday, 101 on Sunday, 99 on Saturday, 98 on Monday. So that prolonged heat wave, including our hottest Denver temperature in over three years, an indicator of how a warming climate is, uh, is affecting our weather because we see more heat waves in a warming climate. They are more frequent. But this is probably the more notable way in which the climate, uh, climate change is impacting our day-to-day -day weather. Since May the 1st, I talked about this at length earlier on this week, we've picked up uh, only about an inch and a half of rainfall officially here in Denver between May the 1st and July the 16th. This is normally our wettest time of the year on average. But you might remember last year, we had one of our wettest May the 1st through mid-July's on record. We picked up almost 13 inches of rain over that time span, 11 inches in Boulder, 10 inches in Fort Collins, 12 inches in Castle Rock, and notice just the huge gap. We are now in one of our driest May the 1st through July 16th on record. And folks, that is what a warming climate is. Extreme to extreme and more often.